Are you a small business owner that is having a hard time getting a loan, especially a housing loan from the bank? Or you know someone who is one and getting the same problem with the bank? You want to know how to get a loan? You know. What's up everyone, this is Kenny here from Property Stories, a channel where we discuss everything about real estate to help you make an information. If you have not subscribed to the channel, do hit the subscribe button and smash the like button for our YouTube algorithm. My new book, Tolong Luskan, is now out in the market. You can get it by clicking the link below or I give you a Shopee link and also you can get it directly from me the link. Another thing you will notice that there are more links to the products that I'm using to shoot this video below. If you choose to click the links and buy the product, I may get a small cut of commission from your purchase. It doesn't cost you a thing and it will help greatly to keep this channel moving. Yeah? So I thank you for your support. So let's get to this week's content. A lot of times I get some questions like this. Kenny, I'm a small time trader by the roadside, a small time hawker in a hawker center. I've been rejected for housing loan a lot. And then I don't even know what the document entails, what are the documents they want. And some of them, they told me I got no company and I use cash transaction. I don't get a loan to qualify for that. So what can I do? These are the few things that you can do as a small time trader. Number one, register your company. Register your company. It doesn't matter whether it's a sole proprietor or the private uh, PLT. Or Lib PLT stands for Perimatan Liability to Heart. Eh? Perkongsian Liability to Heart, sorry. That is a Malay term. But the English term is Limited Liability Partnership. Usually, small time business owners, traders, right? You register sole proprietor enough. Sole proprietor. Number two, after you register, do not, do not uh, take the cash and bank into your personal account. You can do that, but I don't encourage you because if you bank in into your personal account, there's not many banks that will actually allow that. And I would highly encourage you to take that SSM, go and apply for a company current account. Company current account, yeah? So bank in that money there. If you get cash collections, you bank in that cash collections. Number three, keep a proper record of profit and loss. Keep a proper record. Yes, I understand. Today, you say for example, today you sell like 50 bowls of noodles. Then you need to pay your suppliers. You need to pay your workers, right? For that day. Keep that record for that day. Keep, keep, keep. And you can... Remember, banks are creatures of habit. What you can do is that choose like a day in a week where you bank in like the earnings for that week into the bank. Okay, whatever that you need to use, you take out first. Then whatever you earn, you put inside the bank. So that way, right, the bank can actually see. Okay, this is a cash allotment for the week. This is a cash allotment. Then you are good to go. The banks are creatures of habit. Number four. Number four is to declare your taxes. Number four, please declare your taxes. Okay, I don't know how to do my tax. I do everything myself. I want to save money. No problem. Remember number three, you do your own bookkeeping, right? I will highly advise you to get a third party as a bookkeeper if you don't want to do your own taxes. A person who's qualified in tax, in tax agent, that is qualified in tax, will be able to advise you what you can actually minus off, what you cannot. And then they will save you a lot in taxes as you grow bigger. So these are the four things, right, that you can do. Number four is something uh, that is very, very common. A lot of times when they, these people want to apply for, it, for bank loan, they don't have tax declaration. When you do not have a tax declaration, the bank usually will straight away reject your application because tax is a mandatory document. How else the bank will want need will be able to verify your income? Purely from the company bank statement is not your income, you know. Sometimes the income can be derived from the income tax. Because your case, if let's just say you're taking an example, it's not you're selling noodles in a hawker center, the bank won't be able to take the income from your bank statement. What the bank will see is your tax returns. Based on your tax returns, they roughly estimate your earnings. And that earnings is the one that will be going counted in your DSR calculation, debt service ratio calculation, okay? So four things. 
Let me recap. Number one, register a company. Number two, open a company current account. Okay. Number three, do your bookkeeping properly. Profit loss, all this. Okay. Number four. Number four is pay your taxes. Okay. So with all these four, right, this will really prepare you to get your housing loan from the bank next time. This is Kenny here from Property Stories. So if you have any more questions with regards to property and financing, my number is down below. You can WhatsApp me with your questions or you can email me. Click on the about and email me your questions. And I'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.